In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Pathfinder panel. Again, the panel itself is like all the other panels. If you don't see it, you can go to your window feature and select Pathfinder. And you're going to find two things that you can do with the Pathfinder. You can change your shape or modify your shapes, or you can modify the paths. Each one of these things will sometimes do an effect, and depending on how complex, meaning how many points or in a path, it may yield no results. Very basically, these are what some of the shape modes do. So I have two shapes here, a square and a circle. If I select both of them, I can, can unite them, meaning I can select both shapes, click on the unite feature, and it makes them one shape. Or, I can minus the front, meaning if I select both of these shapes, this circle is in the front, so when I select minus front, it reveals the shape that I've put behind it so that you can see. If I select my shapes and create intersect, the point where the shapes intersect at, it creates a new shape. So I'll show you that one again. At the point where the two shapes cross over one another, when I click intersect, that's the new shape that it creates. And finally, exclude usually doesn't create much of a shape other than it creates a shape that is a, a combination of both of your shapes but the area that it crosses over as you can see here where they cross over that has no fill to it so you can see that my fill here is white my fill here is white and I could change those to other colors if I wanted but here there's nothing this is the exclusion You can also use the shapes mode with your type tool, but only if the type is created outlines, meaning that these now are not editable words. It's not an editable word. These are shapes, just like anything else that I see here, like this is a shape and this is a shape. By creating these outlines, they are shaped now too. So when your type or your text is a shape, you'll find that you can use the Pathfinder tool on those guys as well. And this is how you use the Pathfinder tool for shape modes in Illustrator. 